This is the Shantivan complex, a mega kitchen in Mount Abu, Rajasthan, belonging to the spiritual organization Brahma Kumaris. The kitchen is run entirely by volunteers who cook enough food to feed 40,000 people a day. The operation spans four floors and includes 14 dining halls, which can seat 15,000 people at a time. We visited the complex during a special celebration called Baba Milan to see how it prepares these meals in such big batches. Work in the kitchen begins at 5.30 a.m. with hundreds of volunteers cutting vegetables and peeling steamed potatoes by hand. During Baba Milan, 2,500 volunteers need to help prep and cook the festival meals. But that isn't something Banu Prakash, who's head of the bread department, is worried about. So, as much as we have done, we see that the people who have done the work in the time, they also get to the time. The cut vegetables are loaded onto crates and wheeled into the main kitchen, where they're washed again in large metal containers and strained. All of the vegetables the kitchen uses are seasonal and bought directly from farms. And the food is prepared following the sattvic diet, or the yogi diet, which is rooted in Ayurvedic practices. Today the chefs are cooking rajma, vegetable sabsi, chapatis, and teplas. While most of the prep work is done by hand, some vegetables are processed using machines. Crates of tomatoes are pureed and spinach is chopped finely. On the other side of the kitchen, another team uses that tomato puree to make a sauce. They pour five liters of peanut oil into a giant pot. Then they mix in whole wheat flour, curry powder, handfuls of cumin seeds, asafoetida, bay leaves, and chili powder. Buckets of pureed tomatoes are poured inside and tossed together with garam masala, a common Indian spice mixture. The chefs then scoop the sauce out with buckets and place it into large metal containers so that it can be delivered to another section of the kitchen. The tomato sauce is rolled to chef Nilesh Bahi, who has been working here for 17 years and is in charge of making rajma, a curry dish made with kidney beans. He soaks the kidney beans for 10 to 12 hours before boiling them in this pot for 3 hours. Once they're cooked, Nilesh uses a small scooper to examine the bean's tenderness and gauge the broth consistency. When the beans pass the test, he tips the pot and scoops in 400 kilograms of the tomato sauce. He then fills the pot with more water so it achieves the same consistency he had before the tomatoes. This is something Nilesh determines with his eye. On the side, he mixes oil, cumin, coriander, garam masala, asafoetida, gram flour and chili powder into a bucket. He then pours this into the pot and adds salt. After he adds the first round of spices, he tastes the rajma and decides if it needs more flavor. Once Dinesh approves of the taste, he mixes in finely chopped spinach. And what you can see is that the capacity of 12 liters of this burden, when we make the whole burden, it will become a rajma in 7,000 liters. Cooking all of this food requires an immense amount of energy. Since 1990, the kitchen has used a concentrated solar array on top of its roof to heat water and generate steam, which can be used to cook most of the food the kitchen makes. The cooked rajma is drained through a spigot into smaller containers, which are then covered and wheeled to the dining halls. One of the most important dishes made in the kitchen is sabzi, a mixed vegetable dish that varies depending on the vegetables available that day. 
cooks heat oil in a massive pot along with cumin seeds, curry leaves and a safetida. Next, they add turmeric, cut chilies and chopped bottle gourd. They mix everything together before adding in chopped potatoes, garlic gourd and cauliflower. Then they add water and season the mix with salt and chili powder. Next come green beans, a pot full of tomato sauce, peas, cut green bell peppers and shredded carrots. It's finished off with a generous amount of salt. Like every other dish this kitchen serves, the vegetables are taste tested and seasoned accordingly during the cooking process. Once the chef at hand gives the flavor a thumbs up, the mixture is cooked back into the metal pots and wheeled to the dining halls. Bread is essential to every meal. The bread department at the Shantivan complex can make up to 26,000 flatbreads every hour. To do so, bakers first pour 50 kg bags of flour into mechanical sifters to remove large crumbs of flour. The sifted flour is then taken to mechanical mixers where different types of dough are made. Today, the bread department is making two types of flatbreads, chapatis and teplas. The tepla dough is made by combining water, whole wheat flour, turmeric, chili powder, ground spinach and fenugreek seed. Once mixed, the dough is wheeled to volunteers who use their hands to roll it into palm-sized bowls. These bowls are then brought to a team of 200 rollers who flatten them so they can be cooked. Chefs rub the flattened teplas with ghee and slap them onto flat griddles to cook. Together, this team can make 20,000 teplas an hour. On the other side of the bread department, machines are used to make chapatis without fillings. The dough is top-loaded into machines, which chop, flatten and bake it into crispy chapatis. This one machine gives 2,000 chapati in one hour. If you have seven machines, then 14,000 chapati in one hour is made in one hour. Like everything else that gets cooked here, the breads are placed inside metal containers to keep warm and wheeled to the dining halls for guests. In the dining halls, the rajma is served with rice, chapatis and bindi masala a side dish made of okra and spices. During Baba Milan, the Hindu god Shiva, who is recognized as the father of souls, is believed to visit practitioners. So, Baba Milan ka martab, Shiv Baba hamare yaha pe, ek sakar medium ke andar, sakar sharir mein aate the. Sab Baba ke bache, Baba ka bhandara hai. Wo bharpur rehta hai, kabhi khali nahi rehta. Sab ke liye bhi. Many of the devotees have been coming here for years. सत्रह वर्षों से हम परमात्मा के साथ मिलन मना रहे हैं। हमें बहुत अच्छा यहाँ फील होता है। जिस सुख शांति के लिए लोग बाहर जाते हैं, वो हमें यहाँ प्राप्त होता है। सिर्फ हम नहीं, यहाँ पर हजारों भाई बहन आकर लाभ लेते हैं। उसके पीछे के एक भाव है कि यहाँ हर एक व्यक्ति जो आ रहा है, वो अपने ज Imbuing the food with positive intention is one of the biggest responsibilities during the cooking process. So, as we think, our thoughts are made by our thoughts. And as we are made by our thoughts, they are made by our vibrations. In the food, they are made by our vibrations. So, the effect of the food and the food is made by our thoughts. This is special to make this food. If the food is made by our thoughts, we can see that this is the food we make by our thoughts. तो हमारा ये लक्ष्य रहता है कि ये भोजन खाके सब खुश हो जाए और हमको दुआएं दें।